I'm going to show you how to transfer from something like your phone to introduce a much better picture quality, something a little along the lines of this. So there's really three key pieces of equipment that you need to get better audio, better video, and better lighting. Let's dive in now and take a look at what those are and what order you should sequence them to be most effective. So I realize there's a million things you can buy and it's sometimes overwhelming, especially with all the sales, new product launches, everything going on. So let's introduce these pieces of equipment one by one so you can really see how they play into your filmmaking and how they're gonna affect your videos. I'm gonna recommend the products I use. You can find links below if you wanna check them out. I did research for the price point I wanted to spend. These made the most sense, but especially when you're starting out, you may wanna go with something a little bit cheaper. Taking a look over here, we have lighting. In the middle here, we have a shotgun microphone. On the right here, then we have an upgraded camera. What order should we introduce these in? So what's missing? You guessed it, it's the microphone. Let's go ahead and switch over right now and see how the new mic sounds. All right, so now we're recording on the new mic. Let me know what you guys think. It should really sound a million times better. When you look at the form factor of cell phones today, you're really just not gonna get the audio quality that you would out of any type of dedicated microphone. These range from really $30 up to, you know, thousands of dollars. Figure out what makes the most sense for your price point, but it's almost guaranteed to be a good upgrade. Really the reason you wanna start with audio is because the sensor on most cell phones these days is pretty good to begin with in terms of capturing image quality and then lighting can be free. So let's go ahead and open the window right now as an example. And look at that, I've got lighting. So granted, you can only shoot certain times of the day, but use natural light, it's gonna be your friend. So start off with audio, get yourself a shotgun mic, maybe something that's gonna plug into the audio jack on your phone if you have one. They also have USB-C adapters. So really do your research, figure out what's gonna best suit your needs as well as your budget, and go ahead with that. So now that we've got great audio, let's next introduce our lighting. So yes, I actually left the camera as the last thing to upgrade. You notice with proper lighting, I can set the color temperature. Really, you can do a lot with it. Lighting makes a big impact on your picture quality, regardless of the sensor you're using. So if you get a full frame, you wanna get the best picture you can out of it. Lighting is gonna be key to that. You don't wanna have bad shutter speeds or have to crank up your ISO. Also with good lighting, it doesn't matter what time of day it is. It could be in the morning, afternoon, middle of the night, and I can create the same scene. I can create the same content. This allows me flexibility when I'm shooting. I can shoot throughout different times of the day and edit it all together. It doesn't look like I'm jumping around. Lighting just makes such a big difference to your overall picture, what you wanna convey, what you wanna focus on. If you're doing subject shots or item shots, it's gonna allow you to really light them up, create a spotlight effect if you want to, or you can use a diffuser and to kind of blur things out, which is what I'm doing now. After your audio, make sure to upgrade your lighting. And last but not least, you guys have been waiting for it. Let's go ahead and swap out the cameras. All right, so now we're in our fully upgraded studio. We've got our microphone, our lighting, and our upgraded camera. I don't recommend you necessarily have to go all out, but one thing I do recommend because I made this mistake early on is for these key integral parts of your videos, of your filmmaking process, really try to push your budget if you can. The only reason being, I started off, for example, with lighting. I bought a pretty cheap, small light. It was effective, it was around $100, but then I needed more lighting in the next video. So I bought a second one. Then one was on sale and I figured I could use a third. Next thing you knew, I had all of these lights and I really just needed one good light. So I wish I would have just bought the one good light from the get-go, I would have saved money and time. Ultimately, really it's up to you and your budget, but these are components you're gonna use every video. Every video I need audio, I need a picture, and I need lighting. So I would really stress to figure out which ones you want, check out some reviews online of it, and then make your purchase. So that's it, I hope you guys learned something today. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you didn't already. Lots more content coming throughout 2019. Tech reviews, comparisons, and these tutorial videos. I hope you guys had a fun time. I'll see you next time.